let me ask this question. Who the hell ever has the right to tell us, us as individual divine beings, when to work, how many hours to work, when we can go pee, when we can have lunch, when we can retire. I mean, wh what entity ever thought it had the right to control 8 billion people and tell them, this is how you do things my way. And we all were doing it for so long. And then think about this. They give us the permission that at supposedly at 65 years of age, that's when you start to live your life. Okay, so I have a problem with all of what I just said. But then you tell them at 65 when they've shortened your lifespan down to less than 100 years. So you work your ass off for them for most of your life. And if your body's not broken and if you're lucky enough to have a little bit of money, you're supposed to enjoy life after 65. Hmm. Can you guys see how backwards that is okay I gotta move on or I'll be on that one for a while now let's think about this one this was a huge one you have to respect your elders you have to put them on a pedestal and they're always right you don't talk back you don't question you do what the elders tell you because they're more wise they're in charge and it's very disrespectful to ever ever not listen to them and not abide by what they're teaching you because they're your elders. Now, in my opinion, we need to respect everybody, not just elders. We need to respect ourselves. We need to respect our peers. And then of course we respect other human beings. Okay. Not just because they're older than us, not just because they're our parents, because there's a lot of people right now that I know that had people that were their parents, their guardians, and they absolutely didn't deserve their respect. But the program was this, by the time the elders were influencing us little children, they were already part of the Phantom Matrix program with all the false parent programs in place with all the victim victimizer and of course the apocalypse amongst others. So they were in perfect form and position to train us. So this is why they scared us and made us believe that there was a hierarchy of beliefs and we had to believe the elders that they knew better because we were just young children who knew nothing. And here's the crazy thing. Children, <laughs> they're tapped in and they know more than the poor elders do because the elders have been hypnotized. The elders have been manipulated and most of them are still fast asleep. So they're abiding with the program that absolutely does not serve as humans. And then they are giving it to the rest of the generations as they keep coming up. That's what was part of that program. And we all fell for it, right? We all did it until a certain time or unless you were awake from the very beginning and you resisted that type of authority. I was one of them. I'm sure some of you were there. But let's talk about now what they call the millennials. Now the millennials have come into play and most of you, maybe some of you are judging them. They have been judged since they were born, that they think they're better than other people. They think that they don't have to work hard. They think that they can just go from job to job to job and quit whenever they want based on them. And what was that from? That is from the programming from the matrix. The millennials, if you will, are more in tune and understanding and rebelling against the system because they are more maybe higher in DNA codes. They know that the system is broken and they will not abide by it. But do you see how the programmed humans look at it and go, hmm, that doesn't fit the narrative. Let's put them down. Let's make fun of them. Let's make them stick out. So these millennials, I mean, there's more humans on this planet than just the millennials that have an attitude where nothing feels right when you're trying to control us down to the very fine of when we can go pee. Okay. But when the millennials came in, this was an, a star seed version of a newer advanced human that understood that this is not how it's supposed to work. And plus they were coming in as well towards what's going on now with the solar activation, with this reset. They're coming here for the ascension. So they're representing the truth. They're representing that none of us have to be a slave to a system and they're not willing to be a slave to the system because they understand that this was a system for slavery and they rebelled against it. But most humans, because of their programming, judged them. They said that they think they're spoiled brats and that they're not you know, willing to work hard. Well, they're smart because we were never meant to be slaves. We were never meant to work hard. We're meant to come here and express our soul's purpose and grow and evolve as a spiritual being. 
And we're not meant to be slaves. We're not meant to be broken physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, which is exactly what this system does. So again, with the millennials, if you want to use them, plus there are many indigo children and starseed children that have been here for years. There are 70, 80, and 90-year-old people, humans, that are contacting me and they're saying, I love them. They're saying, like, I see through this system and I always have. Not everyone was able to do that, but it doesn't matter how old you are. There are still humans that were always able to see through it. But the millennials seem to get the biggest attack because they were the ones that were setting a precedence of listening and saying, you know what? I care more about myself and my happiness. This is how that divide and conquer separation works. See how well the programming works? If somebody is outside the narrative, if somebody is not abiding by the narrative and the way all the humans and the sheep are walking, okay, then we automatically look at them in a negative way. We make fun of them. We punish them. Just like all the so-called conspiracy theorists all this time, they made that up on purpose to divide and conquer. If somebody's different than who is aligned with the narrative, those people that are different are in the wrong. And here's the thing, the people that are not following the narrative are the ones that are leading from their heart. They are the ones that are a free spirit. So just don't worry and, and don't be hard on yourself if you realize that you were part of the program because every human was. We all were given this information from day one to program us as small little slaves to grow up into big little slaves. So when you awaken and you realize this and you pull out of the system and observe it, as an observer, it's very interesting and challenging for some people. But just be kind to yourself and just start to ask questions. Start to unplug from mainstream everything. And you will see a huge change, not only in your energy, your health, the way you think, but your whole environment. And I'm sure by now, most of you that are here on this channel have realized that anything that's being shoved down our throats in mainstream media that's being repeated over and over and over again, we all know that none of that is good for the human being. Nothing good for your spirit, nothing good for the human body, nothing good for it physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. Everything in mainstream media creates fear, sickness, obesity, disease, it just impacts us in a very negative way. So this is why when you unplug from mainstream media, it's a huge universal thing that happens because everything that's in it is never for the greater good of a human being. So automatically you're going to start feeling incredible when you unplug from that, that poison. Interesting enough, think about mainstream media when they promote healthy eating, when they promote how to think better and to think positive thoughts and how to you know go out into nature when you promote great music when you promote doing things that don't take up all your time when you don't work 12 hours a day you work three when you're with your family more and your unconditional love they speak about being kind to other people no matter what race you are what color you are how old you are when you think about that none of that comes down the pipe in the mainstream media this would be for the greater good of the spirit and the human, right? But no, everything in mainstream is to harm human beings and to create a hive mind of all of the same narrative emanating out. So it's time that we see it for what it is and unplug and take back our life.